my university that I was at, um, one of the universities, I was asked to facilitate the board checkup with the board of the university. And so I did. And um, I worked with the board to facilitate the results that were generated by it. And we organized, we organized the committees, existing committees took on different questions that were issues. And uh, one of them came up around planning. There was a there was an issue about planning and that it was around the board having been a rubber stamp for the plans that the college had brought to the board. And so um, anyways, I there was a really good discussion in the the meeting that we had to results, lots of um, insights generated and that was all I had at that point. And then, uh, then I was on the other side, the next, uh, so that happened in the fall. A year later, the board uh, on the faculty side, sitting around the faculty table, the board chair came to meet with the faculty to say that it had redefined its role in planning in the university. Mm -hmm. And it wanted to talk about how the board, how planning would happen and get the faculty's feedback. Well, I was sitting there going, wow, I can see how this had resulted in a real change in behavior of that board and how it saw its role, its leadership, and how planning was going to unfold. And then I listened to my colleagues who were just baffled by this change. How did this happen? This has never happened before. And, you know, all kinds of questions. So on both sides, there's a lot of work that has to be done if you're going to shift from one style of leadership to another in the governance function around this.